Hello, I have a demo of Red Panda Connect using two new features in both Red Panda and it's an OpenAI. So Red Panda Connect has an OpenAI processor that allows you to generate text using OpenAI's APIs and specifically just recently added support for structured outputs from the OpenAI API, which allows you to specify a JSON schema and it makes sure the LLM's output follows that schema exactly. Additionally, we have support in Red Panda have recently announced support for JSON schema within its schema registry. So what we have today in Red Panda Connect is a demo here that's gonna pull schemas from Red Panda and give those to OpenAI and the API to make sure the LLM responds and is using schemas that are registered into a schema registry. So you get all the benefits of using a schema registry in terms of centralized management and updates, as, as well as making sure that when you create these data pipelines in Red Panda Connect, that you're using <clears throat> a schema that works with these various different topics in the registry. So what I have here is an example pipeline in Red Panda Connect that's gonna pull some emails from this emails topic. I've hand generated 10 different emails um, and gonna run them through this pipeline. They're also formatted in JSON schema support. I can show you the schema here. <clears throat> it's just a really simple JSON object with a single email field, which the string being the actual payload of the email itself. We're gonna decode that because it's in the schema registry format of magic byte integer ID of the schema ID and then the actual payload itself. So we're gonna decode that for JSON schema. And then we will run it through this open AI processor that's going to categorize the email and extract the sender for it. I've told it the output, what each of these different categories mean. And then I, at the end here, I actually inject the actual email field from the JSON object that's flowing through this pipeline. We're gonna tell OpenAI to use structured outputs for this. So the response output is JSON schema, and then we give it a schema registry uh, to go fetch the actual JSON schema for. You, we, can, we also support adding just a fixed schema within your pipeline here as well, um, but you can also dynamically fetch them from the schema registry. We're going to merge that back into our original object and then re-encode it using the subject value schema for the output topic, which is in our pipeline, which is the categorized emails topic. So if I show you what the categor categorized emails topic output looks like, so we have our original email, enriched with the category of the email specified as an enum. So it will exactly match what, what we tell it here and the sender. Um, one thing to note here is that if we go look at the actual, this is the subject schema, this, excuse me, the schema we're gonna send to OpenAI. This is gonna have the category in it with that is singular as a single string field. And if you go look at the um, prompt that I gave, it actually tell the LLM the wrong format. And this is just to verify that it is really adhering to the schema that I give it, not what I'm telling it in the prompt here. So I have everything I need to run this pipeline now, and we're going to just go ahead and run it. Before I do that, I'm gonna start up a consumer here from our output categorized emails. And what we're gonna tell RPK is when you're consuming messages from our output is use schema registry to decode the messages. So we'll be able to see the actual decoded messages this time. Um, so I'm gonna run this pipeline and we'll see here on the output as messages come through what they look like. So here is a social email from my friend Sarah on Facebook and uh, it's been categorized as a social email and the sender has been pulled out as Facebook. And if we look here, <clears throat> let's see, let's grab another message here. This one's, um, marked as primary. So I have a project collaboration meeting with Mark uh, and here's my original email and you can see the sender has been pulled out from, as Mark as well here. Um, so it's gone through and categorized each of these emails. So th this just shows you how simple you can spin up these data pipelines using Red Panda Connect and now with structured outputs you can also ensure that your pipeline has the correct data at every stage. Thanks for watching.